What do we have? Frozen River. Full ice map. This guy's Sigma is... Dude. Let's get it. Good luck, have fun. It's full ice. One left turn, one right turn. One left turn, one right turn. This guy's Sigma uh, is... The, it's, as, it's as basic Open as they get. Unless you can go, like, under the bridges, I can't tell. But it's also it's really interesting with these maps, because, uh... Yeah, if you're, um... Precise, you get rewarded. Skill gets rewarded. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. <laughs> but it's at least fair. There's no, uh, there's no randomness to this. It's all fair. Let's get it. Good luck. No GPS needed. Uh, for these types of maps, it's always one left turn, one right turn. Because ice really works that way, where you alternate turns. Okay, yep. Yeah. And now you go right turn. I've had long discussions this with guy's people. Sigma is, dude, about. Have fun. Thank you. I've had long discussions with people about whether on ice, if this is a left turn or a right turn. Because you hold left, but the turn itself goes to the right. So, like, this turn goes to the left, but you hold right. Risky line under the bridge? Okay. That one also under the bridge. Interesting. I think I'm gonna get lost on this map and not remember which turn is which. That's honestly what's gonna be the hardest thing here. And I think it's one last to the finish. Also a long map by the looks of it. Yeah, this map looks pretty long. 109. Oh, that, that finish on the side looks quicker. Okay. Well, interesting. And I think one other thing I'm noticing is that the inner parts of the turns are actually snow. Okay, that's here yeah you don't get a lot of attempts for a map this long so you gotta be on point for the runs you have And then here you can wiggle, at least a little bit. But you do want to be careful you don't ruin your setup. And then I think it's just inside line here. Yeah. Okay. 105 by Gus Silly Fans is crazy fast already. Bring on the Gamba? Yeah, let's get a Gamba for uh, top 64 or not. It's ice. I've won ice a couple of the day before. Although it is pretty hard for me. It's not my very best, but I tend to excel at it. Yeah, that one is weird. Okay, let's remember that. That turn is weird. And then this one goes more inside than I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I'll just, I'm gonna do one more to learn the turns here. This one is very inside. Like, right around the attack point. And you can go quite wide here. Because the exit again... Favor is going tight, okay. Oh, this is so sick that you can do like a half ice slide there. Yeah, okay. Okay, I need to do super long ice slides. Starting here. Wait, can you ice slide through? Oh, you can. Oh, that goes very fast if you do that. Now you're suddenly talking. I forgot the exit. <laughs> this is so wide. That's not ideal. Oh, you can go crazy fast here. Wait, 10420. That's a that's a nice digit. Just ice sliding through that one long corridor gives you such a good setup here. Like the next turn is vital. Oh, bad gear. But it's very- I, I like the map, because this is an ice map where it's not so much about, like, precision and gears and stuff. It's just a long ice slide, go fast. Like here, if you ice slide that, car is zooming. I think Gu Gus and Alcott on this are crazy. They're, they're gonna probably win. I don't see Mika playing. Yet. Maybe he's in here already though? Double virtual? It's one on pad and one on keyboard chat. <laughs> it's my two. I drive two runs at once. Oh yeah, I can see. I can see that. I can see that. I just need to execute it. These turns are, like, it's cool, but it's also really tricky. Especially this first turn. That setup is very good, though. Remember that it's more straight here. Set up on the inside. One oh five forty. I'm still losing quite a lot, but that might already be Division 1.
Oh, hitting the sand that you can't see is kind of punishing. Okay. Set it up. Hold it. Ah! Damn it. Medicine is playing. Uh oh. That's scary. Medicine fast. I'm just trying to focus. I want to get one more to feel really safe here. One more clean, uh, clean time. God bless. Yeah, no. If you're if you're released there, hmm. Just lose the gear. Basically, on ice, anytime you're over like third gear, you're kind of chilling. No, fourth gear, sorry. When you're under fourth gear, turns are a lot more scary. This could be a lot of speed. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's good. That's very good. I don't think going under the bridge is too bad. For the exit speed it provides. 474. Okay. Eighth. Getting that one second up to like Gus is crazy hard though. But we have a, I, I, we're division one now. I am division one, so that's, that's secured at least. Feels good. Famous last words. <laughs> but I think inside line will save me maybe a second on that one turn. Might be the last thing I'm missing. Third place, Kakal. I think that's Kaku. There are so many, yeah, there are so many grand comedians chat in the, in the Trackmania community lately. It's... <laughs> it's impressive how funny we all manage to be collectively. It's like, damn. Do you guys know the picture with the bird that has one joke? That's been, that's been us lately. Oh, 50 but under angle. 50 but under angle. You missed the qualify by three seconds? No. Unfortunate. Are people still mauled? That's the thing. They, I, I think most people aren't, but, but some people are. Some people are indeed mad. I can just spin in circle chat. Hmm. 
You're tired of responding every time someone brings up the action keys. People are just molding. Yeah. Nick, I'm not driving? Apparently not. 0.35. Damn. Old pale with a 32 as well. Kelsey, what did they do? Pretty con pretty funny how confident you were laughing at it. Now that they have said it's cheating, you don't want it spoken about. Yeah, bro, that is that is totally it. I did not want to speak about the keyboard at all. I never wanted to show it on stream. I never wanted anyone to know I was using it. In fact, I was trying to conceal it for all this time. Because I was so scared that if people found out, I would be convicted a cheater. Now people found out. And I'm just trying to silence the crowd. Damn. <laughs> You're so full of yourself. Not. I think I think people who actually think it is a really big deal are the players that are like Division 30. There are pros that are upset about it too, but majority of players who think it's a really bad thing don't have gold medals or barely play the game but then choose to be upset on other people's behalf and it's also especially now that you know after experimenting it's like okay controller is way better that doesn't mean that it's allowed and they said it's not allowed to use uh custom scenery in this that's fine but I just move on. <laughs> I just learn a new device. I'm faster than before. And if I ever do an off metal challenge again, it's going to be even harder to beat the time because I have a better input device. That's the, that's the only thing that's going to change. And they also specifically said, like, we're not going to punish or put sanctions on any players who have used this in the past. So, I did something like, okay, you can put it like this. Some people will say like, oh, it's like, it's like, he, he exposed Riola for cheating and now he's cheating himself. If you think about it from a sports point of view, what Riola did is basically use performance enhancing drugs in secret without telling the competition and pretend that he didn't. What I did is kind of like modifying your shoes to be better and telling everyone I modified my shoes. And then the running commission says, look, we want everyone to have the same shoes. You can't use those shoes. And then I say, OK, I'm not using those shoes. But if there were no rules in place for the shoes, fine. Then I'm going to stop. Now there is. Then I'm going to stop using them. It is very different on all levels. And now I found an even better shoe. I'm using a shoe that makes me faster than the one I was using, which is illegal. I don't care. I'm just going to use my new shoes. <laughs> if you're still mad about it, I can't help you. I cannot help you. You're just gonna have to talk to your adults in your life and ask them to buy some chocolate milk. But yeah, let's begin. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> You buy your own chocolate milk? Damn. Alright, sorry.
So yeah, a uh, couple today. If you don't know how this works, I think a lot of people know how this works, but I'll explain it anyways. Uh, first round, nobody gets knocked out. It's a, uh, you know, shake loose type of round. And then, in every round following this, the slowest players go out. So, um, so yeah, don't want to be slow. Now, my, my consistent philosophy for doing well in these is to not crash. It's a strategy I derived off from um, a lot of contemplation. I mean, the, the simplest strategies are often the best, chat. Like, take the advice of Warren Buffett, the world's greatest investor. You know his rules? He has two rules. Rule number one is to never lose money. And rule number two is to follow rule one. I have my couple of the day rules, which is don't crash. All right, here we go. Oh, is that a bad idea? No, it's fine. Hopefully that's not gonna lag my game when it starts. Looks good. Okay. I heard some people say Scrappy got 65th today. You hate to see that only 61 of the qualified edition one player showed up. That is the worst feeling in the world. Like you miss division one by one spot and then people don't even show up to play. I at least, you know, use the spot if you got it. It tilts me so hard every time this happens to me. But yeah, I am pretty slow in this first round. But I follow the rules, chat. I have not committed the grave sin of crashing. And I don't intend to. Just calm, collected gameplay. This is a long track of the day. Yeah, this is going to take an hour, I think. Because it's just so punishing. Uh, for the, like, players are going to be 10, 10, 20 seconds behind every round. If you could slide out. When I found out you were friends with Pointcraft, I freaked out. Oh! Dude, we, we played Monopoly the other day. And I want to play, I want to play again. I want to get revenge. We played Monopoly, it was me, Janek, Muddy, and Point Crow. Point Crow won one game, I won the other. And then I saw Point Crow play with uh, Dug Dug and Linkus. And they played a really interesting version of Monopoly. Which is that you can only auction properties. Like, you can't just buy a property, it has to go to the auction. Which seems way more fun. Also, calm, collected gameplay. If you see yourself in a spot like this, just take a breath. You're gonna be fine. Don't panic. Just breathe. Just gotta be able to say it's fine when it's not really fine, but it's fine. <laughs> And you see it is. It absolutely is. It's not a problem. Forty five hundred board games came out last year alone. Do you want recommendations? I got my Scrabble. I got my Monopoly. I like Catan as a board game. Those are my top three.
But one thing I was made aware of the other day, which is a bit unrelated, but like also obscure in a fun way. I learned there's such a thing as the Excel World Championships. Like the World Championships in using Microsoft Excel. Did you guys know about this? I was so fascinated. <laughs> like that's an eSport. The YouTube channel was called like Excel eSport. Or like Mathematic Models eSport. <laughs> I mean, why not? How do you even win? Well, there's different formats. But some of the videos have like crazy views. Like there's like se one with like several million views. And it's just the finals of like the Excel World Championship. What is my favorite type of track? I like bobsleigh maps. I do. This this drama will never take away my enjoyment of bobsleigh. Only a patch will sour my experience. Those views are from people going, what is this my recommended? Yeah, I mean, classic Tetris have the same, right? Classic Tetris with the Boom Tetris for Jeff video a couple years ago. Same like excitement that this is a thing. I think there definitely is a category in YouTube for just watching people nerd out about something. Like you just want to see nerds be super excited about their topic. <laughs> I think my channel's like partially that. Like you watch the community go ape shit over a uh, Trackmania record. It's just like, yeah. Bunch of nerds. In a cool way. I've seen this in other ice maps where you want to extend the slide like that. I think you do. I think there you want to tap break extra to make the slide last longer, giving you more speed. I think so. No better source for info on the game than some random European nerds YouTube channel. Exactly. How do you exit an ice slide properly? You release the acceleration, if you pay attention. Anytime I want to exit, I always just release. Also, yo, Slick. Good morning. What happened to the 104 times? I can't drive that consistently, Sai. I just try not to get knocked out, dude. Trying to drive something I can do every time. It's like there, I did a microscopic release tap. Try to set up my car better for the turn. Here the car is going to exit by itself without me releasing. Oh, that's a bit of a bad line. But yeah, ice is weird, but when you know how it works, it is a lot of fun. Because then things kind of just flow. Becomes a dance. Good on speed. That's a 105. It's decent. 103.04. Fast time. TQ's a good ice player, though. You don't want to put the time in to learn? I completely get it. Dude, it sucks learning about a new topic. Whatever it is, right? I think we're all kind of boomers at heart. Very few people lo like attack learning with incredible interest. 
for for any topic. Like some things it's easy to motivate yourself to learn about. If you find it fun, it helps. But just getting started on something new is so difficult. Like, you'd rather just stick to what you know, what's safe, what's comfortable. I recently tried to learn about investing, chat. And it is so- my brain- my brain is not built for it. Honestly, my brain is not built for it. It's- it's just so much dumb stuff, dude. Actually, virtual business. Like, the Prime's gotta go somewhere, right? The Prime's have gotta go somewhere. I think they're just going to an index fund. It's like, I've recognized there are people smarter than me who can figure this stuff out. They dig so deep, I mean... <laughs> I'm sure there's some way, like, the, the professionals get an advantage or whatever. But... I'm not built for it. I also don't plan to spend, like, half a year learning about it. I'm just gonna message Amaranth and ask for her stock, stock tips and copy. Because if you guys don't know, Amaranth is one of Twitch's greatest investors. No cap. Like, she is so smart. Like, say what you will about her work, but what she does with it is really clever. Like, she bought a construction company. She bought a plastic ball company that just sells, like, normal plastic balls. And a bunch of stocks. She, bu she buys, like, several businesses and invests a lot of what she earns. So it doesn't just, like, rot away. And in gas stations, too. Yeah. Several gas stations. One o two point six. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing to get that. Honestly, not really paying that much attention to uh, to the cup so far. But it is about time to get a little bit serious. Not great. I think after this round, I gotta be a bit more uh, aware of my start. Because in the start, I lose like several seconds. And then it's kind of just cruising to the finish. My starts are the problem, though. Well, plug in open plan is that new speedometer. It's just called speedometer. It's pretty good. All right, top three, two. During the slide, why does speed go down to under 100? Uh, it doesn't. It's just the way the speedometer calculates speed is by looking at how fast is the car going versus where is it facing. Actual speed remains higher, though. Also, this is my worst start yet. But I have a good setup. Ooh. 
snow there slows you down a lot. Oh, I don't like this line. Too much on the inside for them. Lyric and a good chance to win? I hope. I mean, on ice? Lyric on ice? Really? Maybe? I don't know. I haven't seen him play ice. Okay, now there's a lot of good ice players left. Like, this is uh, pretty tough now. What? Happened to my gear? I don't know if you guys heard that, but that is super weird. This one's silent. I might be out here. That is so rough. I will try, but it's pretty tough to come back from this. Oh, I almost had snake, but we are out, chat. Unfortunate. Something happened in the first turn, though. Like, I lost the gear, but I didn't lose the gear. I don't know. 20 seconds. Not bad. It's better than a full slide out, that's for sure. I think I maybe stalled the gear too much. Let's see how... Um, where's his name? Gus. I don't think this is on purpose. This looks very hard to control. Does they, do they do the full ice light here? Oh yeah, look at that. Going for that in rounds is scary. That is very clean though. Spooky Sanders, thankful for four months. Am I streaming from Melee right now? No, I'll dry, uh, drive. <laughs> I'll... Uh, travel there tomorrow so not yet but i am planning to go there in due time dude this is looking good though denmark and sweden top too scandinavia representing nice times also seats who i haven't heard of really good Does Khaki start next Friday? It's the 19th. So it is not next Friday. It's the one after that, I think. Was there any closure on the action key situation? Nadeo said, uh, we won't allow it from now on, but it wasn't cheating when it was used because we didn't have a clear ruling on it. That's the TLDR, but they also have a twit longer that you should read. Is it next Friday? I mean, it's Tuesday today, so next Friday is like in three days. I hope it doesn't start then. Next week's Friday. Oh, wait. Would you say this Friday? I think of next Friday as just like, oh, yeah, the, the one coming up. Uh, whatever. This Friday, next Friday. This is a very close round. This is the closest one yet. You know Gus is driving like 103 pace, so this is like 105 for the players that are last. Good line from Richie, I like it. Ooh, Zeet sniping.
I'm excited. I'm excited for Khaki. It's gonna be good. Kenku, thank you for the six months. Moonshot, thank you for the prime. Uh, Jake, thank you. Also, Flusus, long thank you for the six months. Furunek, thank you as well for the prime. Pro night. I'll be, I think I'll be streaming like, probably the, the most active month I've had, I'll have during Khaki. I want to stream more than just the three days a week. So consider this like the melee trip and everything, kind of like a... Oh, <laughs> this. Uh, that is costly. I'm so sorry. Um, consider it like a like a mini vacation, and then when I'm back, it's gonna be like a month of streams. It's my plan. I believe in Philip. He's not out. He'll get someone. Philip's got this chat. This guy's car is like, um... Oh, it's the Matrix and it lights up when he breaks taps. That's actually kind of cool. People have two- people have two advanced skins now. No! Neo! Twitch Prime! Took the wrong pill. Bad ending. Unfortunate. Yeah, Scrappy, we should we should totally play Khaki at the end of the season. Woo! I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Devara, thank you. Oilosk, thank you as well for the prime. Okay, who do we got? I think Bead, certainly the coolest car skin. Out of the ones left. He has my support. Oh, Gus! Wait, 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 wait! This is a bit bad for Gus here. Brandon slides out. I actually saved that really well, Gus. Random and clear last. Opale? Uh oh. Uh oh, pale. That is not it. The others are quite far though. <gasps> They're not. Hang on a second. A battle for the last surviving spot. Opale versus Brandon into the last turn. Opale on the inside line. He's gonna go full inside for it. Brandon will have a better approach, and that is gonna be Brandon. Good effort. I got 20 seconds today, chat. I, I messed up. I messed up. I'll see yo, Mika. This looks like a... Like a couple of the night for you. No, wait. Couple of the morning. Not a couple of the night. You got this. <laughs> you had a 1017? Okay. Good time. Good time. Your channel points as I didn't mess up? Well, I did. Didn't mess up pretty bad. Here's what I thought. I have... Okay. Hey, beautiful. Hope you're doing well. Did you ever get your OF account sorted? My OF account? No. No OF account. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. The content on of course. Twitch as well. Hopefully this brings you closer to achieving your dream of becoming the Prime Minister of Twitch. One Prime this closer, Arcs. Thank you. Dude. We are conquering the platform one prime at a time. If you actually look at the numbers, who 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 is the prime minister of Twitch right now? Like someone in this very moment, probably a Spanish streamer, has to have the most primes. Are they beatable? This guy XQC? Is, dude. More vibes. XQC easily? Twitch tracker, I think, has the numbers. They have a subscriber leaderboard for streamers. So XQC currently has 32,000 primes. Twitch Prime. Excited for Kaki. Casimito has 46,000. 
46,000 primes. What an ungodly amount. Woo! Twitch prime! That is like... That's so- uh, that's- that's more primes than I think I've ever received, and you received them all in one month. 46,000 Twitch Primes. It's a Brazilian streamer, yeah? I think that's the most, yeah. I think- uh, it's- uh, XQT is second, though. And some people have, like, over 10,000 Primes as well. Wild. Which the the Casimiro guy has seventy seven thousand subs, but in total subs, XQC is uh, rank one. Eighty thousand subs. It's wild. Seats? Oh, I wish- okay. I was gonna check my app, but my phone died. I don't think Seats, or Twist, or Bead, this guy's Sigma or Philip have ever won a couple today. I, I think we may very well have a new couple today winner today. Which Gus hasn't won either? Shh, no? I think he has. Are you sure? Which She can't spam me with snaps? Not right now. Not right now, no. He won Cup of the Night because he beat me. I remember that. Woo! Only Richie has won. Wait, really? Oh, we ha we're, we're very likely going to have a new winner then. Very, very likely. Oh, Richie, does he hold? He holds. It's it's literally a five v one. I I'm rooting for uh, for someone new to win. Anyone? We just gotta uh, welcome someone new to the winners' the villa. Free? Thank you, Mango, for the prime one step closer to world domination. Let me check how many I have. Twitch tracker. So, I think I'm no more than like 44,000 primes away from rank one. And Yeah, it says I have 1,000 active primes right now. That's a great amount, but... We're 45,000 primes away, chat. This Can we get there? Dude, Anyone has a prime right now? Feel free to use it. You might have one available that you just forgot about. I would greatly appreciate it. Which prime? Let's get rank one. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! Yeah, boy, Cal and Which Bob prime? for the primes. Oh shit, a lot of people have them. God damn. Okay, we are actually rapidly climbing here to rank one. Woo! Twitch prime. What an what an improvement on the virtual stock. Woo! Twitch prime. Thank you guys. What is it with double subs? I don't know. Woo! Twitch prime. They don't they don't count twice. It's not like a duplication glitch. Woo! But they do appear twice. So you get you get twice the alert for your uh Woo! for your sub right now. <laughs> Rare double alert. Woo! Which Top four. Final fall for the baked. Top four. Woo! Thank Which you guys all though. Imba, thank you for the 10 gifted. Okay. Thank you so much. Which Thanks for the reminder. 
All eyes on Richard. 1308. As he looks for a repeat win. Gus seats and beat though. Trying to win their first. I have just a song for this. Just a song. Richie in last. Richie with a wide line. Seats with a better setup. Into the checkpoint. Richie! Oh, slides out! Let's at least beat the Swedes. We may have a new winner. Unfortunate for Richie, of course, but very exciting for our competitors. Gus, bead, and seats. Two years. There have not been a lot of American Couple Today winners. We are going to Straight up. Imba, <laughs> thank you again, dude. Again. Also, Techie, two years of Prime. Thank you so much. I'll forward thank you, the eight months. Bernardo, 19 months Prime. Thank you. You'll be an American winner one day? Woo! Go for Which it. Prime? We welcome the uh, the competition. Seats with a bad start, did not get the ice slide, needs the Woo! corridor Which slide. Prime? Which it looks like he oh, has to abandon seats. Woo! Trouble for Denmark. Big trouble for Denmark right now, sets up wide. Tries to get to speed, this could be a slide out. It holds, it holds for now. He still needs to find a second, though. And Bead and Gus are not driving bad lines. Yeah, no, this is looking... Kind of... Decided. Bead lagging a little bit. Still 0.9. Uh-oh. Gus versus Bead in the finals. Good luck. For once, I'll say it. I'll say it loud for the world to hear. I'm rooting for Sweden. I've lost to Gus in a final before. I know how good he is on ice. I'm I'm rooting for Gus here. I'm rooting for Söta Brud. But Bead has a great chance too. The times he's been setting. Good lead for Gus, though. Better setup for Bead, maybe. Oh no, two inside. He has to move in. Gus can extend to like half a second out here. Oh, that's more. 0.7. Is Gus too wide there? Needs to go for an inside line. Hope he doesn't slide out here. Looks controlled. Bead lagging a little bit. Better setup, though. He's catching on Gus. He got a better line here. It's like half a second now. 0.3. More speed in favor of Bead, too. Oh, but not the best exit. Gus extends here. And is it going to be... Gus's first couple of the day win? He's honking the horn. Amazing time to finish. Wow. I think the, one of the fastest runs in the tournament in the last round, too. GG's. I'd love to see it. We gotta recognize... Sometimes the Swede... The Swedes have our number tag.